Hi everyone, so this is such an amazing day and I'm out walking the dog and I suddenly had a realisation that this time, last year to the day, I gave up my job due to my undiagnosed sort of health issues and um, had no idea what I wanted to do but I was really excited about the year ahead and I felt like I, had, I could do anything I wanted because life was too short and I really felt it at that time. Now, I just think it's amazing that a year on, so much has happened, so many fundamental changes, um, and obviously culminating in COVID, that I just feel we should all take a good hard look at our lives and make the changes that we feel are maybe scary and not quite what the sensible choice would be, but fundamentally, a year is a very short space of time and so much can change. Um, and I just wanted to make sure everybody is in the best position to cope with the next year and looks at their lives and evaluates what changes they could make uh, to make it the best year possible. Because, you know, we never know when it's going to be the last. I had to stop filming then because somebody was walking up behind me and I felt like a little bit of a muppet. But I just wanted to carry on by saying in order to make your year the best year you can possibly have, everybody should start with a kind of like a New Year's statement of where you want to be. And it's about what do you want to be in order that you can do so that you can have. And you write a list of all those things, however many it may be, minimum of maybe five or ten, of what it is you want to be. And just write a list of what do I want to be and, you know, don't hold anything back. And then having place that statement of what you want to be, you can then say, in order that I can therefore do, and think about those things in this next year you want to be able to do. And we don't make changes and we don't do things unless we want a result. And that result is, in order that I can have. And if you write that list ultimately of what do you want to be, in order that you can do, so that you can have, and think about it in this next year, don't hold back. You can beat and do and have anything. What would your list look like? Have you even considered thinking about planning a list like that? Um, I never had. I do now. And you can update it regularly or you can not update it, but you should visit it regularly. And from that, feel like you're actually making the change that you may need or just accepting that you're happy at the moment and the changes aren't necessary, but they're always there in the back of your mind in terms of what might be needed to become the best version of you and have the best year you might have. Anyway, that's my little lesson for today's lovely sunny day. Nothing to do with me, all to do with you. Over and out.